Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. So, let's see, last time we actually made progress, thank god. We beat the Capra Demon, we made our way into the depths, uh, stuck our toe in a little bit, and beat the Butcher so that we could get the Large Ember. Uh, we took that to Andre, upgraded our weapon to plus seven, and then we made our way to Blight Town, went human for the first time, and beat Maneater Mildred, got her knife, well, Cleaver, and now we're going to go fight Quellag. So, uh, make sure you have your purple moss clumps equipped so that you can cure your poison as soon as you're through this area. And run your happy little butt back to Quellag. Now that we beat Maneater Mildred, we can summon her for the fight against Quellag, which I'm probably going to do, to be honest. Um, it just makes it so much easier, because she's basically a beat shield. And she will tank attacks for you while you can wail on her life. It's so much easier. This game is very... You, know, you can play it solo. It's like it's not a problem. You don't have to summon anybody, whether it be real or NPCs. But they just make it so much easier sometimes. And, uh, like, now, I just want to make some progress for y'all, get get to some new stuff, so I think we're just gonna, I think we're gonna do it. Alright, so here is Mildred's summon sign, so we're gonna go ahead and summon her. There we go. Um, I thought Solaire was around here. Um, but he might not be. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like he is. I guess it's just Mildred for this fight. Oh my god, what are you doing? I shouldn't have brought her up here. Bad idea. Oh my god, what have I done? Come here. Come on. Don't, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Well. That went well. I forgot they just attack whatever they see. Anyway. Let's go, Mildred. Go take her. Take her for me. seen her do that before. She just like shoved me through all of that lava. Yeah, she doesn't do a lot of damage, but honestly she's not there for the damage. I literally have her there just to take hits with me. Half the time she stands in the lava like she is doing now anyway, so she's kind of useless sometimes. Especially if I'm in front of her. And it's just a one shot every time, which is really annoying. Um, I am gonna go ahead and pop another humanity. Because I do want Mildred back to help. Oh, my foot's doing some weird shit there. Uh. Hey, buddy. Your foot. You, you good? looks kind of... okay. hope you can still walk. Uh. Yeah, Mildred can make it easier, but well, I can still be a bitch. It's really that roar, honestly. That's probably the hardest... not even probably, that is the hardest attack to avoid, because if you're in front of her, 
unless you're far away, you can't really avoid it. And if you're behind her, you can get far, far enough away as long as you're not surrounded by a bunch of uh, lava. That was a me. But otherwise. Ah. Otherwise, it's, it's a one hit kill. Unless you are just a high enough level with high enough vitality. Which a lot of the times you're not. Just yet. Alright, we're gonna try this again and not bring her up here this time so she doesn't. I really wish she wouldn't be killed then. That was my fault. Okay. though she's going to use that a lot because Mildred stays up in her fitness for the entire fight. Oh shit. And she's doing it again. How come it only does 98 damage to her and she's not wearing anything? I'm wearing armor and a bajillion of pain. gesture, but, uh, my select button wasn't working. Alright. Look at that. Now we are up to 32,000, almost 33,000 souls. Quellag's down. Capra Demon's down. Time to ring the second bell. Making progress. Let's do it. watching the cutscene. We've been through some shit to get here.
Excellent. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to do a few things before progressing on to Sin's Fortress. One of which is just like last time, we're going to go out to the Gold Hymn set, uh, because it's, it's so useful. Incredibly useful set. Um, yeah, I don't think that. I uh, believe this is a secret path. Yes. Which leads to a bonfire in this dude. Let's talk. Oh dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? I believe if you answer yes, this is a trigger for a... Uh, the name escapes me right now, but I think it's a Chaos Covenant. Uh, we'll go ahead and answer yes. But you have no eggs. No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. So go ahead and answer yes and he'll let you in. And you can speak with what looks like another Quelag. We're gonna bonfire first. This is another Kindle bonfire, which is very nice. So she does not speak. Uh, you can reinforce your Estus flask with her, uh, which we don't have. You can enter the Covenant, uh, which I don't think I'm gonna do. And if you talk to her, I don't think she says anything. Let's see. Yeah. This... Yeah, I think, honestly, I don't think that opens up until you do something with the Covenant. I think you have to get a high enough rank in the Covenant for that to be able to open. Uh, I actually don't even remember what the armor is, but we might come back to that. I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, is... see with the bright ass lava there's nothing we can do here right now the area is covered in lava we can't do anything here yet it'll be a bit before we can make it here but that's not going to keep us from getting a good good set of armor um, now uh, what I would suggest is if you do not want to fight Ceaseless Discharge right now, which I don't recommend you do, uh, throw on some Homer Bones. Oh my god, we're up there they are. Put on some Homer Bones. Ceaseless Discharge will not activate until you pick up the armor set. But as soon as you do, he will pick up the armor set. I could probably fight him now. I don't particularly want to. He's not necessarily hard. There is actually a cheat to beat him incredibly easily, but it's annoying. Uh, and then the other way to beat him is a 
uh, just another cheese tactic, which you can actually do that with a lot of bosses in this game. Alright, here's Big Boy Cecil's Discharge over here. See, he won't do anything until you pick up that armor set, but when you do, he will attack, and in the location you're at, you will get hit in one likely one shot. So if you don't want to lose your shit, I would suggest taking the armor set and hold your bow. Get out of there. We'll come back to him later. Alright. So, now that we have this armor set, this is the exact armor set I was wearing in the, in the previous run, and I love this armor set. It is so good. It's light, so you can still fast roll. It freaking looks cool. You look like a Grim Reaper, and it's it's good armor all around. Let's see. Now my physical defense is 135. Um, if I go back to wearing what I was wearing, which was, was it black leather, the night gauntlets, and heavy boots. Yeah, it was a set. It's 124, so it doesn't give me too much of a boost in physical defense, but it does give me a high boost in magic defense. Which is really useful. Alright, so this is done. We got the armor we want. Quell legs down. I think it's time. Head back to where Andre's at and go to Sense Fortress. But first, we gotta get out of Blight Town. Yay, Blight Town. Luckily, not too bad. For some reason I thought those guys stayed dead if you attacked them, but thankfully they don't. That would have been frustrating. Okay, um, I know this is not the right way to go, I just I want to double check and make sure there's nothing over here. There's a lot of items in Blight Town that I don't particularly want to explore to find, because I don't like Blight Town. But, there's some useful stuff around here. But there's also... Didn't see him there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I took a moss clump and I didn't take an S. Oh jeez. Oh, okay. That was fun. Ah, hello. Oh my god. Ooh, large Chinese shard. Worth. Worth it. <laughs> oh my god. That's freaking terrifying. Uh, okay. Get the fuck out of here. Unpoison and get the hell out of here and never come back. Uh, okay, that was 
Reaper Souls around here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh yeah, that doesn't help with toxic buildup. I forgot. Okay. Oh my god. Um, let's fix that real quick. I think I bought one. I bought two. I said I don't want to deal with mosquitoes. Okay, we're gonna be dumb. We're gonna try to go for the firekeeper soul that's around here. Because... Incredibly useful. Firekeeper soul, got it. Toxic. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh god. This... I'm dead. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> I panicked. Switch weapons. It was bad. But, we got a Firekeeper Soul. And I think that was worth it. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and reinforce the Estus again. Excellent. Okay. I would say that's worth losing a humanity and 4,000 souls. So yeah, if you go for that Firekeeper soul, don't do what I did. Don't die. Live. Alright. with rocks. Keeper Soul in New Londo Ruins, but that one's a bit of a bitch to get. And I don't think I'm quite ready to get grab it yet. It just involves running, which honestly now would be the best time for it. But it also it also involves some ghosties and a little bit of jumping. Um, I may go ahead and hit up a bonfire. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the Firelink Shrine Bonfire and go try to get it, just since I don't have anything. Because it'd be very useful to have before we hit Sin's Fortress. Actually, yeah, I think we'll do that, and then come 
back next time for Sin's Fortress. But first, let's rest at the bonfire up here so we do not have to run out of White Town again. Yeah, it'd be useful to have Estes plus three for what's coming up. Because Sin's Fortress is I would I would say it's a pretty tough area. Sin's Fortress is tough. And Orlando is Oh boy. And Orlando is probably my favorite area in this game, but it is also one of the most difficult. It has a, probably the set of the most difficult bosses in this game. On top of some tough enemies, but it's a great place to farm. Uh, souls, Titanite, and weapons and gear. We'll, we'll get there. We'll be there soon enough, and I'll show you what I mean. But first, a little detour. A little bit more prep. And some fortress. Paul correctly, it is a straight shot across a bridge around some ghosties. I see it. Alright. If you can see it, it's right there. There is a point where you have to jump that I don't fucking remember where that's at. But... It's this way. Ah, the ghosts! They got me. That's the hardest part, is the ghost will rise up, making that jump really difficult uh, to hit. So, let's try that one once more. Since now I remember where it's at, I remember what to do to get it. I could put the transient curse on and just try to fight my way through it, but 
I would prefer not to. I just want to grab it and go. I really just want to grab it, die, and get out of there. And those transient curses are expensive. I don't want to waste money on that. We'll, f we'll have a method later um, if I choose to do that route. That'll make it to where we don't have to spend money on those transient curses to hit the ghosts. Uh, if you get a if you get a blessed weapon, you can hit them without having to have an item for it, which is handy. And there is actually a blessed weapon that we can get without having to create one of our own. Anyway, all right. Let's try this once more. Hopefully, get it. If I don't get it, I'll just get it off camera, and then we'll continue on. I think the secret is don't slow down. Just run. guys well thanks for watching uh we made a lot of progress this time next time we'll tackle sense fortress and hopefully get to an orlando so see y'all next time bye <laughs>